Um, so guys, one of the first problems we had to go and look at was we have an operation, right? Now, first thing we look at is we notice that this is a monomial. This is a, a number, right? Or actually two variables multiplied by each other with positive exponents. So these are a monomial multiplied by a monomial. So what I'm going to want to do is think about what are my rules of exponents that I could use for this. And there's a rule of exponents, right, when we're multiplying um, two numbers with exponents. So that rule of exponents states... It's like on the two is to the B. It's y oh, thank you. No problem. So this is, if I have x to the a times x to the b, if I have two monomials multiplied by each other with exponents, then I'm going to add the exponents. Now it's important for you guys to understand something. Right. This only works when my base, which I explained to you guys last class period of an exponent, are the same. So are my base y and z, are those the same? No, right? Actually, before I even get to that, that's a review. x squared equals x times x, right? Mm -hmm. x to the first equals just x x, right? So therefore, if I just write x, I can also say that's the same thing as x to the first. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Just rewrite that the other way. So guys, if it if it helps, it helps me out when I just have a variable and I don't have an exponent up there, then I put the number one up there. Okay? So you might want to do that whenever you encounter a variable when we're doing these simplified problems. So are my y and my z, are those the same base? Do they have the same base? Yeah. Well, one's y and one's z. Are they both the same? No, they're not the same. So I can't use this rule. But do I have a y and multiplied by another y, right? Yeah. So I can use that. I can do that multiplication, right? These are all multiplied. When you have a variable next to a variable, that's multiplication. And we have a parenthesis next to a parenthesis, that's multiplication. So really, I'm multiplying this y squared times the y to the first. So I can rewrite this as y squared times y to the first. And then I'll write the z's times the z squared. Well, by using my rule of exponents, when I have the same base and an exponent, all I do is add the exponents. So y squared times y to the first is y 2 plus 1. z to the 1 plus 2. So I get y cubed, z cubed. Okay? And again, remember, we cannot combine these because they're not the same base. Okay? 